1879, a small group of community-minded and caring individuals recognized a growing need to provide help and support for Sun City area residents. Now, 35 years later, Benavia is touching the lives of thousands of children, families, and seniors from all walks of life by cultivating caring communities. I came in 1951 to be the senior pastor of Bellevue Heights American Baptist Church. And I met Bill for the first time. He had the vision to start interface services. I would look upon Bill Wolfrey as the, the man behind it. And uh, he uh, got all the ministers together and got this group together that I met with the first five. <laughs> and uh, that's how it started. Well, it seems perfectly natural to me. Here we are, four different denominations. We want the same thing for everybody. And I remember going, I said, why don't we just call ourselves Interfaith? Interfaith, Interfaith was the big thing. I wanted everybody to feel welcome. They came here from all over the country, from everywhere, and everybody was entitled to be number one, if you know what I mean. I remember when the CEO, Michelle, came on board and uh, we were sitting around at the board meeting one morning and the letters were coming in asking for help. And Michelle started to read a letter. And as she read the letter, I noticed that the tears were running down her cheeks. From that moment on, I knew that we had someone as the leader of Benavia that had the compassion and the love and the concern for people and that has been proved to me down through the years. The original founders of the Sun City Area Interfaith Services were really a group of citizens that literally sat around a kitchen table trying to figure out ways to help their neighbors and friends be able to age in place at home with dignity. What was amazing was in the first year we had a handful of volunteers that came from the local congregations and service clubs and before you knew it by the end of the year, we served over 250 people. And that was with one part-time counselor and a handful of volunteers. So they knew right away they were onto something, that this was truly a service that was gonna be here for a very, very long time. I just feel like our volunteers are the heart of this organization. The compassion that comes uh, is really more about the volunteers who show the compassion and care and, and love for their neighbors and friends. Um, it's that that moves all of us here at Benavia. Um, it, that's why we have 900 volunteers today because people know they're making a difference in other people's lives and that's what moves us. But I prayed for friends because I lost all my friends. I outlived them. And when I found Benavia, that was a blessing. They're not only uh, helpers, but they're family, they're friends. They're wonderful. And that means a lot, especially when you're alone at 98. I started volunteering when my wife passed away. And I was active, and I wanted to, to do something to give back. When I lost my wife, I lost my family. That was all I had. And uh, thanks to Benavia, I have an adopted family. Well, when I first met Dan, I thought he was so friendly. I felt at ease. It wasn't, no problem. Well, I drove you once or twice and I said, I don't think we're gonna get along very well because you didn't laugh at my jokes. What do you mean? Your jokes. I told you, you a to joke and you didn't laugh. I maybe, remember maybe that. Maybe I didn't get it. And well, that could be. <laughs> and then I said, uh oh. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have laughed. <laughs> you are a wonderful okay. guy. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Dad. You've got to educate people to have compassion for others and to reach out and minister to the needs of others. And that means indiscriminate. Doesn't matter what the color of their face is, doesn't matter what their religion is, doesn't matter what their background is, it's their need that you're going to meet. I think one of my earliest memories, <clears throat> and one that I don't think I'll ever forget, was the first man that I took. And when I went to the door to get him, he came walking out and 
he said, oh, Judy, I don't think I can do this. And I thought, mm, is it because I'm a lady or just what's going on? And, and then he said, they took my car away yesterday and it was exactly like yours. And what could I say? It was just, I mean, we did fine, but I just felt so for him that, you know, just can't forget it. We're grateful for volunteers like Judy and, and Dan, who really give that compassionate care, that sense of connectedness with others in the community. I'm thankful for all the congregations, the service clubs, the businesses, the, the individuals who have stepped up. Um, when we've had trying times or when times were great, they were always there for us. As this part develops, we're going to develop. We're going to develop. No doubt about it in my mind. No doubt about it in my mind. Benavie is going to be here for the next 30 years. <laughs>